What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back and from NBC New York, New York City rappers Chef G and Sleepy Hollow arrested in Brooklyn gang bust. Now, it wasn't that long ago we had a story of a huge gang bust in Queens, New York. So it looks like somebody is taking steps in the right direction to perhaps remedy this problem. And this one is particularly interesting to me because I believe most of this took place in Flatbush, Brooklyn, which I am really quite familiar with. It's also interesting that when you look at this with some of our other recent headlines like Jordan Neely and this weirdo in San Francisco who was taken down at the Walgreens that we protest for nonstop, we go to bat for and we stop subways and we march down the we march down the middle of the street to City Hall. But when this stuff is happening and these kids are shooting at each other nonstop, nobody really seems to care. And obviously, I'm not the first person to point this out. Loads of people have mentioned this. Bill Maher recently said, oh, well, how come no black celebrities are talking about the black on black crime, which is a fair question that we've been asking for a long time. And where is BLM? Do they even still exist? They don't care about the hugely black population of Flatbush, Brooklyn, shooting each other down. But it's strange that as soon as somebody else gets involved, whether it's a security guard or a police officer or just a white person, then it becomes a problem for whatever reason. That's not really the point here. Let's see what they have to say about this giant, or I said giant, they didn't say giant, this Brooklyn gang bust. I have a violent gang taken off the streets and the two famous rappers who could be looking at serious prison time. Good evening. Thanks. Okay, I want to stop really quick. Sorry, this is, <laughs> this is just how I do things. But you can look at this very first frame, and I very distinctly remember that checkers. Violent gang taken off the streets and the two famous rappers who could be looking at serious prison time. Two rappers, one of which I'm, I can almost be certain has spent in his short life a handful of years behind bars already. So this isn't new to him. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rana Novini in for Adam Cooperstein. And prosecutors say those gang members shot at rivals in broad daylight and then bragged about it on social media. At the center of it all, two well-known rappers from Brooklyn. Rappers Chef G and Sleepy Hollow are accused of helping carry out violence against... And Chef G, if you know anything about Chef G, and maybe this could deserve its own video, I mean, he does these interviews with Vlad TV and these other hip-hop outlets when he was out, of course. I mean, he's, he's covered in scars, knife attacks. He got, he got sliced in the head at a court hearing, I believe. Not out in the streets of Flatbush, but where somebody, he or somebody else, was, you know, showing up to court. And this is just how far removed from reality this group is, is that they will go to battle in a courtroom, outside of a courthouse, I should say, which is absolutely absurd. It's one thing to be doing it in, you know, on Flatbush Avenue, still with loads of regular people, pedestrians walking by, cars and all that stuff. But right outside of a courtroom where the place is probably swimming, teeming with police officers, they just don't care. And they truly don't care about their freedom either, apparently, at such a young age, too. Against rival gang members in Flatbush and Crown Heights, police say they are members of the Crips. The two rappers were among 30. I also want to say that when I was living in Flatbush, I could see this happening. I didn't know. I couldn't put two and two together until much later. But they have these memorials everywhere, candles and balloons. You could walk a two or three, four block radius and see five, six, seven or eight of these things. Drive by shootings, car accidents, all likely caused by this type of activity. Right. I mean, my area of Flatbush had basically become a gang territory war. And learning this more recently, I feel like this kid may have had a lot to do with what I was experiencing firsthand. Two alleged gang members charged today in a 140 count indictment. The DA saying the gang is linked to 12 shootings and one murder, which was caught on camera. Investiga investigators say this is one of the gang's crimes, a deadly drive-by shooting where the suspects pulled up and started firing at rival gang members. People start to run down the street at the top of your screen there. One person was killed in this incident, five others injured. News Force Mark Santia is live at the Brooklyn waterfront. And Mark, prosecutors are saying that this gang violence stretched even beyond Brooklyn. 
Yeah, Rana, prosecutors say this alleged gang was known in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and New Jersey. So we can- From gold records to silver handcuffs, police arresting rappers Chef G and Sleepy Hollow. Investigators say the men, along with 30 other alleged gang members. So, it, I mean, we see, obviously, we see this, the huge story with Young Thug, but it almost seems as every, it almost seems like every single rap venture and I don't know really how long this has been going on, is literally just a front for criminal activity. Because if not, why would they not just leave, right? We constantly hear, well, I, you know, I got to buy my mama a house. I got to get out of the hood. I got to make this money. And if you're doing a million streams, if you got a million followers, if you're, you know, signed to a record label or you've created some sort of record label on your own that's profitable, even with the money that you made through your criminal activity, you would eventually leave that alone. But I guess he's too young to realize that. Or maybe the rap wasn't quite as successful as he was pretending it was, so he still had to do criminal stuff. I don't know. Members ordered, orchestrated, and wreaked havoc across the area. These are no small-time rappers. Sleepy Hollow, on one song, upwards of 125 million YouTube views. Chef G, upwards of 42 million YouTube views. Chef G used a lot of the money that he earned to help facilitate uh, further gang activity. Prosecutors say so he's doing it the opposite way around according to these people. He is using the money made from music to further gang activity. I guess so. Like I said, this is keeping it real gone far too wrong. That includes this mass shooting in Brooklyn, where one person was killed, five others injured. District Attorney Eric Gonzalez said Chef G ordered the hit and then, as a reward, ordered up a fancy dinner at a Manhattan steakhouse. Chef G takes the shooters from this incident. That's like mob stuff. That's like Tony Montana stuff, right? Or maybe not. I, I don't know. Look, I don't know the history of that, but it's like you call, you order a hit, and then you celebrate with a fancy dinner? I mean... All right, bro, I, I'm not arguing with it, I guess. And some other gang members for a very lavish, expensive steak dinner where they celebrate the score against their rivals. Police say different gangs join forces to take on other gangs, leaving several people injured, including innocent New Yorkers caught in the crossfire. We are not going to give up. We're not going to. Oh, here comes Tracy Morgan. We all got the asylum seekers. This guy, this guy is such a scumbag. To surrender our streets to violence, no longer will these 32 individuals. You're not going to sur- surrender the streets to violence, but you already have. You And you've also sur- surrendered the streets and high-end hotels to illegal immigrants. But that, of course, is another story, and I digress. You will shoot their guns in the streets of New York City, and we, as a city, are safer for that. The focus of today's press conference, Chef G. This is not an indictment about rap music. Um, in fact, this investigation did not rely on a single lyric to prove any. Even though it could, it really could. And I don't know a lot about Chef G. I know he does have at least one good song. And if anything that he's saying in that song is even remotely close to true, they 100% could use it. Now, of course, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know like freedom of speech or it's art or whatever they try to use. But like I said, keeping it real gone far too wrong of the alleged crimes but it is an indictment of how when someone does well for themselves um, and could do real good in our community they use their fame and they use their money uh, to further gang violence if chef g is convicted he could spend up to 25 years in prison we're live in brooklyn heights tonight I'm- okay so i don't know how old the kid is will it tell us Look, they are among 32 people charged, 140 count indictment. The district attorney's office said the gang is linked to 12 shootings and murder. Yeah, okay, so this is exactly what we read. And I don't know how old he is, Chef G. I don't know anything about Sleepy Hollow. Chef G, right, has a song. I thought I thought Chef G was actually a much larger rapper than Sleepy Hollow, but it seems, according to that report, that it could be the other way around, and Sleepy Hollow has something with over 100 million views, while... Chef G only has, you know, 40 or 50 million views. I say only as though that's not huge. So he took he took the criminal entity money to launch the rap career and then made money with the rap career 
and put it back into the criminal career, I suppose. And these people just never learn. And like I said, this one is incredibly, I don't want to say personal, but interesting to me because I, I'm almost 100, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I witnessed some of this violence firsthand in Flatbush, Brooklyn. So look, this is not a movie, right? If you're watching a movie and a gangster orders a hit and then you go order a fancy dinner, it's kind of, I guess, fun and luxurious, but this is real life. He's obviously putting regular New Yorkers, if, I mean, if anybody's still there, can be considered regular, different story, uh, in, in great danger, all to, to, to further a career that probably, well, of course it won't last, but things, beefs, and issues that they wouldn't care about, in my humble opinion, in even six months, right? So I, look, I don't know. I don't know if it's a territory war. I obviously don't know why they're doing these things, but I can almost be certain that the reason they're so angry right now, they wouldn't be that angry in in three to six months. So they're ruining their whole lives for these these petty little beefs. And I maybe I shouldn't call it petty because I guess they're making loads of money somehow, some way, and um. Perhaps the district attorney will find out how they're making their money. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.